Hey, what's up, my YouTube friends and subscribers? I'm trying a new format here in this video just to do something different and um, because I wanted to talk to you guys about three different topics and um, instead of kind of like doing a formal presentation I just wanted to make this one uh, very informal and solicit um, your feedback on these topics. And the first topic I want to talk to you about is uh, the Supreme Court ruling on Obamacare. Um, actually not so much me talking to you about it but the first topic I want to bring up for discussion you might say. And um, you know I listened to a little bit uh, what was being said on C-SPAN as a result of the ruling and I won't get into details about the ruling but it, it's just unbelievable how the Democrats claim that this Obamacare is the best thing since sliced bread and the Republicans are crying that it's a job killing monster among other things you know you got these two group of people who are supposed to be running our country um, highly educated intelligent people with totally different points of view on the same issue. So who's telling the truth? Apparently somebody is lying or are they both lying? Um, but you know the sad part is that we average Americans are left scratching our heads because we don't have a clue what's in the bill. We don't know who's telling the truth. But at the end of the day, when all the dust clear, guess who's going to get the short end of the stick, regardless of who's right or wrong? The average American. So I was just wondering if you guys wanted to chime in on that and share some information. The second topic I want to talk to you about is the fires in Colorado. Did you guys? I'm sure you heard about that. Um, Colorado Springs, wow, they are really experiencing a serious wildfire out there. And uh, one of the reasons I want to bring that up is because, one, I used to live in Colorado Springs. And when I lived there, it was like waking up every day in a picture, in an oil painting picture. It's just a picturesque, beautiful place to live once you got used to the high altitude. And um, I just cannot believe how it's being decimated by these fires. And I'm not sure they know yet what actually caused the fires, but one of the reasons I want to bring this up is that not so much um, how the fire was started, but how ferociously and rapidly the fire is spreading across uh, Colorado Springs and one of the reasons is or the main reason is, is because it's very dry there and um, obviously they did not get their normal rate of rainfall and snow this year or precipitation in general which leaves the area very dry and thus causes the wildfire to be even worse <laughs> and spread very quickly and do major damage. And so the question is, um, that comes in my head is, you know, is this just a coincidence that they did not get their normal rate of precipitation or is there something happening in the weather um, that's caused this to happen? For example, a change in the weather pattern. And if there is some type of change in the weather, pattern what caused that and could that possibly be as a result of a pole shift. Granted these are a bunch of ifs and speculations but um, that's the topic of discussion I want to bring up is that you know is that possible? Is, is there a reason why this is happening? You know somebody could have started a fire yes but the fact that it's decimating this, this city because of how dry it is, is there a story within a story? 
And the last thing I want to talk about is um, the story about the army is developing a laser that shoots lightning. And you heard me right. They are developing a laser that shoots lightning. You know, it's amazing how so much stuff that we see in the movies are now coming to reality. Um, but, yeah, let, let me read and share some of the story with you, and then we'll come back and talk about it some more. U.S. Army personnel at Picatinny Arsenal are developing a military weapon that is able to shoot lightning bolts down laser beams, destroying any potential target with enough power to fuel a large metropolitan city. Though the actual time of the lightning only goes for two trillionth of a second, the amount of energy generated by the LIPC is jaw-dropping, estimated to be more than enough power to fuel a large city. If a laser puts out a pulse with modest energy, but the time is incredibly tiny, the power can be huge. The lightning, which equates to 50 billion watts of optical power, is still in development mode as scientists continue to hammer out details for how to synchronize the LIPC with the high voltage, toughen up the device to survive extreme conditions, and make the LIPC sustainable for the long term. Okay. Now, one of the things I want to bring up is in Revelation 13, 13, which says that, and he does great wonders so that he makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Um, there's a good possibility that this capability already exists. And based on this story, if it doesn't exist, it's probably going to be uh, capable in the very near future. And I'm talking about fire being coming coming down from heaven um, it's just amazing what they're doing what man knowledge is allowing him to do and how it is fulfilling by prophecy you know Satan is trying so hard to be like the most high he he just refused to accept that there is and will always be only one God but nevertheless, he's going to try and deceive up until the King of Kings returns. And um, we must continue to watch and share and expose his deceit. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you like this format. And um, if you do, maybe I'll continue to do videos like this in the future. All right, peace. And...